quickly before this video gets started, I would like to say that I have a Discord. It is uh, linked in the description. And if you would like to support me, I have a Patreon, and you can also subscribe through um, YouTube membership. Anyways, back to the video. Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on how to fit clothing to your avatar. Now, in this tutorial, I'll be using clothing that isn't rigged, meaning that it's not already made for any avatar in specific. So, to get started, I'm going to click A and X. This will delete everything in our scene. I'm going to head over to File, and I'm going to go to Import and FBX, and I'm going to import my model, which in this case will be the Nardoragon. So I'm going to import that. Now that is imported, I'm going to go again to the file. I'm going to go Import, and I'm going to select my Wavefront format, and I'm going to import my Cyberpunk clothing that I want to fit. Now, as you can see, it is above our avatar, which means it's way too big. So I'm going to press S, and I'm going to scale it down until it gets to about where I want it. And now I'm going to click Tab. I'm going to click A. I'm going to hold Shift and S. This will pull up this will. And we're going to do Cursor to Selected. We're going to press Tab again. We're going to go to Object Mode. Or we're going to go up to Object Mode, Object. Go to uh, Set Origin. And then Set Origin to 3D Cursor. So now this means that the middle of this object is this part right here, which means that when you scale something, it will go from the middle instead of from down here. This will make it a lot easier. So now what we're going to do is we are going to move this around. So I'm going to just use this tool and I'm going to move it and get it to kind of fit. I'm going to size it up just a little. Actually, I'm going to keep it right around there. And I'm going to move this up a little. Uh, I'm going to get it fit right there. And maybe, yeah, okay. And now I'm going to quickly get rid of all the extra accessories that I don't need, which is basically everything. That looks about right. So we have it. It looks all right-ish. Looks like it's fitting around the hands and whatnot. So now we're going to do our next step, which will be sculpting this. So we're going to select the uh, clothing. We're going to head over to this tab down here. And we are going to create a shape key and we're going to call this shape key sculpt. The reason we are going to do this so that if we modify this and we don't like it, we can just delete this and we don't have to re import it over and over. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select our object. We're going to make sure that this is set to one and we're going to head over to sculpt mode. Now that we're in sculpt mode, we're going to go to this menu on the side here and right here where it says elastic deform, we're going to select this tool. Now I'm gonna increase the radius up and I'm gonna zoom in. I'm actually gonna put it just a little bit more down. And now I'm going to grab, actually before I do that, right up here, you see this mirror tool, we're gonna to select X. And now if you see me hover over here, you can see it appear over on this side. So that means we have now mirrored all our movements. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the tool and I'm just going to go in and pull it a little. I'm gonna go over to this side. I'm gonna pull this up. I'm gonna go here, pull it out. I'm gonna go to this shoulder, pull it up, make it look right. I'm gonna go to the back. I'm gonna pull this back out just a little. Just slant that part in a little. And basically, you just kind of want to move it till it looks about right. Now that that is done, we are actually going to quickly just do it the same over here, just for personal preferences. Just gonna sculpt this down, make it look a little flatter. There we go. Now we're gonna give it a quick look, make sure that there's nothing clipping, at least body-wise. It looks about all right here. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to object mode. Now we're going to start by rigging this. So to get this started, we're going to select our avatar here and I'm going to want to get rid of all the extra stuff that isn't just the body mesh. So I'm going to get rid of all the fluff here. Now to do this, you can either press tab and go to edit mode and select each of these hairs by pressing L individually. And then you press X to delete them. Or you can head over down here to the material section. And if your avatar has a material specifically made for the hair, like this one does with the fluff, I can hit select and then I can hit X and delete it. And now all the fluff is gone. Now that that is done, we are going to edit the rig of our main avatar here. So I'm going to hide this and I'm going to hide the body. 
and I'm going to select our rig. And now I'm going to head over to object mode. And what we're going to do is we're just going to select the bones that the jacket would be affecting. So I'm going to turn this mode on so I can see through. And I'm going to click on the bones that I think it would affect. So it would basically be spine, maybe a little bit of the tail back here. Uh, it'd be the neck for sure, the head. And that looks like about it. Actually, you know what? These right here too for the chest. There we go. So these will be all the bones that I want this jacket to move with because I don't want it to move with the fluff. That wouldn't make sense. And it's not touching the legs, so I'm not going to use the legs. So with all of those bones selected, I'm going to hit H to hide them. And now I'm going to hit A to select everything else. And I'm going to hit X and I'm going to delete them. Now I'm going to hold Alt and then press H at the same time. And now, as you can see, our rig reappears. Now, this will be the rig that we will use for this jacket. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to reshow our avatar here. We're going to exit this transparent mode. And with this avatar now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on our main body and we're going to delete all the vertex groups that we don't need. So how do you know if you do or don't need a vertex group? Basically, anything that is displayed here name wise is what you want to keep. Anything you don't see in this list here is stuff that you want to delete. So you go through this list and if you need to, you can expand this out sideways and just look through all these bones and anything that does uh, not show up in this list um, over here is what you want to delete. So I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to watch, but I'm going to go through and delete everything that I don't need. Okay, so now that we are back and we have gone through and deleted everything that we don't need here, we are going to, once again, select our uh, thing that we want. And now that we have completed this sculpt, as you can see, we can click here and we will hit, uh, we'll make sure that we're actually in edit mode. I'm pretty, actually, no. We need to make sure we're in object mode. Select this, go to this key here, hit this drop down, and then we want to hit the uh, apply selected shape key to basis. So now this means that this will be the default and we can actually just get rid of this because this just revert it, uh, reverts it. You can keep this if you need to, but I will not. And now you can see we have our thing fit to our avatar. Now, uh, in the case that your avatar has uh, chests or other like parts that move with, with uh, shape keys, I will actually show you how to do for that. So I'm gonna go through the list here and I'm gonna find a shape key that I want to uh, fit to. So maybe arm size here. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to copy this name and I'm going to hit this jacket. I'm actually going to go to the avatar first. I'm going to go to arm size. I'm going to set it to max. Now I'm going to click on the jacket. I'm going to rename this to arm size. I'm going to select it and make set it to one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit mode. And as you can see, while in edit mode, we can see what we have to fix. So I'm going to, use, again once again, use Elastic Deform. I'm going to just grab there and go here. And I'm going to grab here. And as you can see, it's now fitted to work with the new massive arm size modifier. And you'd basically just repeat this process for every other shape key that will get affected by the clothing. And to test that, of course, you would just click on the avatar and you would go through and you would just go like this over and over and see until what would like clip through and then you would just go and fix that but this is just a demonstration for how to make your own shape keys and so now that that is done we are going to actually rig this to move because right now if we go to our armature and we go to pose mode and we select anything here and we rotate you'll see the clothing does not move with it so that's what we're going to do now i'm going to click on my clothing i'm going to head over to the modifiers tab which is this wrench and I'm going to add two modifiers. The first one will be armature and the second one will be data transfer. So basically now you're going to hit this drop down. You're going to select your armature and you're going to make sure that your settings match up here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drag our data transfer up here. <clears throat> now we're going to select our source as the main body's mesh. I'm going to quickly turn this off. So you want to make sure that this is selected as your main body here and we're going to hit 
uh, vertex groups here, vertex group, and we're going to do nearest edge interpolated. Now, after that is done, I'm going to hit generate data layers, and then I'm going to hit this up here and hit apply. Now, if we go to the armature, go to pose mode, and we rotate, you can now see that it moves with the bones now, which means we are almost there. But you will notice that it looks very choppy and very bad. So now what we're going to do is we're going to smooth this out. So we're going to hide the main body. We're going to click on the armature and then we're going to hold shift and we're going to click on the clothing. We're going to go up here and you'll see a thing called weight paint. We're going to select this. Now we're going to just select any bone and we're going to hit A. We're going to go up to weights. We're going to go smooth. And as you can see, it's smoothed out a little and we're just going to move these iterations to a number that looks about right. So right there, I'm going to stop at 18, but as you can see, it is smoothed out a little. And if you select on the different parts, you can see it's done so. And now I'm going to head back to object mode. I'm going to show my avatar. I'm going to click on my armature. I am going to go to pose mode again. And now if I move, you can see it looks much cleaner here. This bend looks way better than before. Now, if you experience clipping by doing this, you may need to actually go in and manually weight paint and make things look better. But thankfully in this example, I did not need to do that. Now we have a piece of clothing that is rigged now and has an armature. So since we have everything we need, we can actually just get rid of our avatar here. And now that that is gone, we are going to make sure that we parent this since these two are not combined together. So I'm going to hold here, shift, click on the armature. I'm going to right click. I'm going to bring up parent object. And now to see that you've done this correctly, you should have armature up here. You should have the name of your clothing here. You should make sure you have a modifier and you should make sure that the object is armature here. And to finally check that everything is done correctly, if you go to pose mode and you move this, you'll see that the clothing moves. So congratulations, you've successfully fitted a piece of clothing to your avatar. Now, if you want to equip this on your avatar, what I would recommend doing is go up to file, go to export, go to FBX, and you'll want to make sure that you set the uh, applied scaling as FBX all, make sure bake animation is off, armature, uh, add leaf bones, take that off, and then just name it whatever you want. So I'm going to just call it cyber clothing. And I'm going to hit export FBX. And I will put up two tutorials up on the screen on how to add this to your avatar. You can either use the cats method, which is more efficient and is more optimized, or you can use the unity method, which won't require you to download blender. But since you're already here, I'm going to assume you have blender. So I'd recommend the cats method. Anyways, thank you for following this tutorial. I really appreciate it. I uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. This is pinky and uh, yeah, peace out. A massive shout out to my Patreons, Mooski, Hamu, and Maple the Protogen. Thank you very much for subscribing to my Patreon. What you do helps me proceed to make videos like this. Um, so yeah, massive thank you. And if you are interested in supporting me or what I do, uh, please check out the links in the description. Anyways, thank you very much once again, and uh, I hope to see you in the next video.